Okay, our homework number two. Okay, are what are the procedures to increase all of these? We're talking about support, retention, and stability. We have what we have in the patient's mouth at the moment that we have received them. But what can we do to increase each one of them? How do I alter his condition? So the, the presentation was about how do I diagnose what the patient has, okay? What patients have in general. So I'm, I'm looking at what, how, surface area, I'm looking at prob, uh, things of the around. But for example, I might want to increase my support. What, do I, what are the uh, interventions that I can do to increase the uh, support? What are the interventions I could do to increase stability? What are the interventions I could do to add in retention? I mean changing something in the mouth, surgically or in a non-invasive uh, non way. Yeah, habits, changing habits, changing, adding the stuff, for example, mouthwashes or something like that. Uh, changing uh, drugs, maybe, to uh, change the saliva, for example. I'm just giving you hints on where we are. We are intervening to increase these factors. So we're going to talk about surgical procedures. We're going to talk about soft tissue quality uh, improvements. So saliva quality improvements, denture quality improvements, okay? Changing dentures into other occlusal schemes, for example. We're, we're talking all, uh, in the main presentation about conventional denture setting, conventional balanced occlusion. But what will happen if I do such and such exercise, okay? We're going to talk about mandible discrepancies, mandible maxilla discrepancy, where we have a wide mandible, small maxilla, or the, or the opposite. This also is included in the interventions because I'm going to change something in the denture design where to increase my stability or support okay, or retention. So these are the interventions. So this is the title of our next homework and it will be the put as a Google form where you can present your answers. Okay, thank you.